Well, hello, Glue Troopers, and welcome back to the Tarvis. Uh, I was working on the video all day and enjoying my afternoon cocktails, so uh, this will be my first official cocktail blog. Yeah, let's go with that. So, uh, when I was at work, uh, uh, you guys know if you saw the morning live stream that my last evening flight got canceled, so I got home early, but uh, I had flown my first officer the night before and he had let it slip that he actually built model tanks as a kid. He was an armor builder. And, you know, we got to chatting, and of course I began to plot and weave my web, and I was kind of like, you know, armor's still a big subject for building. It's, well, you know, got kids now and everything. I'm like, well, you know, you got to have your hobbies and set some time aside for yourself. And, you know, laying the styrene trap, I was like, if, you were decide to, you would like to build one because kits have got so expensive I would be glad to gift you one even some glue all I want from you is some pictures of it when you're done it'll be yours no strings attached <laughs> first one's free kid that's right I'm the styrene hustler so anyway he asked what I like to build and I told him you know I'm styrene fluid I like everything but if you like tanks tanks are cool we could even do a build, you know, you do one, I'll do one, and, you know, uh, see how each other's looks and all that other good stuff. So, yeah, he hasn't quite bit yet, but, yeah, the month is young. Actually, no, the day's the last day. Well, there's always next month. Anyway, hopefully I can lure another guy back into the hobby. And uh, so uh, that was my evil plan, you know, another step in my conquest of the galaxy. So, also, uh, in other styrene-related matters, I wanted to get a feathered edge on the NASCAR model that I'm building that is, you know, completely of my own, you know, off the cuff design, but also I want to test the paints, as you recall me talking about the issues I had had before. And the last paint job I did, I had curled the tip of the uh, tape that I used to mark it off with so it wouldn't quite sit against the plastic, it wouldn't have a seam. And it did feather the edge a little bit, but given that we're dealing with a larger scale, the feather was, was too fine. So. This time I just clipped some paper and left it off the plastic about a quarter inch and shot it, making sure that the paint went, you know, if the paper's laying this way and the model's here, that the, the paint went that way. I didn't shoot under it. And I got a much better, uh, better 125 scale graduated feathered edge, uh, which is what I wanted. Uh, so I, I did the blue. I'll, I'll do the red at a later date. Unfortunately, it's raining out here, so I have to be careful with using lacquer paints because they're very, very, very uh, humidity and uh, sensitive and everything. So, but it looks like it came out okay. And uh, also, my wife got to work on the glue trooper figures. We made the decals today and uh, that's making progress. Looking good. Um, she's doing great work and I look forward to having those done. Again, just a reminder, there, I'm planning a live stream uh, Saturday night. And uh, since I don't have to uh, go to work for a few days afterwards, maybe uh, we can all enjoy an adult beverage or two or three. Or four. I don't judge uh, during that. So that's really what I have uh, for right now was the, uh, I, I didn't get any work done today because I've been working on the water uh, craft video and it's pretty much done. Anything that comes in tonight or early tomorrow morning that I stick in there will be tacked on the end. Uh, I have had a few of them that just, you know, have, I have an actually under the wire tail end uh, for things that show up late because I've got most of the stuff. It's turning the long way. Right now I have well in excess of 300 pictures and, I, and I'm not even including any of my own. So, uh, I'm, well, I'm sorry. I, have, I think I threw in a couple of pictures of the pirate ship as filler and just left them in there. The Jolly Roger, even though I'd shown pictures of that earlier. Uh, I might include one or two others. The PT-109 that's in there is not mine. It's made by another glue trooper. I might throw a picture or two of mine in there. But uh, I was kind of like, am I going to have enough pictures? And boy, that you guys took care of that for me. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to give a, a, a shout out to a couple of folks just for, you know, the general help they've given the channel and keeping me motivated and stuff. Uh, there's John Kitt at Scale Car Garage. There's uh, Bruce Kerr at uh, the uh, uh, Mystic Modeler Ships. And uh, I want to thank Steve for, you know, helping me out, keeping me going. And uh, I also have a package that showed up today from Mr. Irick. So I thought we would open that and, and see what's in there. It's a 
smaller box, so I'll probably edit out the opening because I just realized I don't have anything to cut it with, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got it open, and one other thing also I want to give a shout out, again, as usual, to Mike Machat for his wonderful channel. And he, by the way, he not only gave me, but he gave all the glue troopers a shout out on his channel too. So uh, guys, I, I love it when we have these YouTube channels, uh, Mystic Model Ships, uh, Scale, Mo uh, Scale Car Garage, uh, Celebrating Aviation, Mike Machat, and others that are just kind of helping each other out. And one glue trooper uh, actually uh, knows someone who's in the kit model business who runs a company. And he asked me today through Facebook if uh, I would like to interview them and do a history on their channel. Uh, it's one of the specialty companies that I think does mostly race cars. Uh, I, I don't want to give any names out until that solidifies because I don't want to get your hopes up. Uh, but uh, that, that could turn into something too. And it'd be great if we could have a, a chat with them or sometime just talk about the kit model industry. But this is from Mr. Eirik. Um, U.S. Navy pilot, ground crew, and set. Let's see what's in here. All right, and there we go. Uh, you know, there's there's all the ground equipment and everything in here, and uh, perhaps I'll go with that. Uh, first off, thank you, Mr. Eric. I appreciate that. And things like this always have a place. These look to be about 148 scale and uh, always have use for that. Well, there's nice, uh, nice figures. It's from Hasagawa. So, you know, you can't go wrong. Hey, uh, question of the day. Just real quick, just popped into my uh, slightly out of brain. Tamiya and Hasagawa are both top shelf companies out of Japan. Those of you who have a strong opinion, what do you prefer if you have a preference? And uh, the companies have somewhat different personalities, and that kind of a, is an interesting thing. So uh, if you have a, a favorite between Hasegawa and Tamiya, let me know, and uh, put it in the comment section below. Make your case. Well, guys, that's what I've got for tonight. Not much going on, but uh, again, I'm just uh, spending the day working on videos mostly. <sighs> Real quick, just before I go, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Guys, Again, I just can't believe how this channel's taken off and, and, and just the wonderful people I've gotten to meet so far. I got to meet up with Bruce recently and uh, for the, the Mystic Model Ships and some of you guys are here. And I know some of y'all are here in the Jacksonville area, so at some point we'll wind up bumping into each other. Um, oh, the battery's dying. Gotta go. All right. Take care of yourselves as always. Model on. when I fell on the floor, but at least four feet away, so my toes are safe this time. What did I just drop on the floor? Video making 101, Max. Don't let the freaking battery die. Ah, oh, it's just the trunk to the car. Nothing important.